Alright, what's up everybody? What's good? It's Brand Man Sean and today I'm gonna do a video on how XXX Tentacion, aka X, aka Jaden Dark side, built his cult following. And you can thank this video to Maze. So let's get this started. The number one most important thing is X is this huge ball of unique pairings. If you don't want to know what a unique pairing is, then you gotta check out my unique pairing video but it's basically these contradictions and he amplifies them. People are extremely attracted to contradictions primarily because we are contradictions, but most people hide their contradiction because they want to be politically correct. But when you're like X, then you amplify it and then it turns you into a polarizing figure that attracts a lot of attention. X is the bad guy, X is the good guy. X has been in jail and he's beat people up and he talks about it openly and still looks like he doesn't regret it and he's happy about it, but he does all this talk about love and stuff like that. He speaks about himself as this fragile, emotional, creature uh, talking about his mom and all this stuff he even talked about transparently that he did a blood bond with a girl the kind of stuff that people usually don't really reveal, reveal about themselves open to the public but at the same time all of this emotion that he has he's also this extremely masculine defensive figure where he's hot-headed and he's gonna beat you up if you say something and you make him unhappy all these contradictions. He talked about how he grew up the pretty boy, but then he like uglied himself up because he doesn't want to try to look good, kind of like Johnny Depp. So he's like the pretty ugly boy. It's all these contradictions that just make him interesting. People are intrigued by what they do not understand and what piques their curiosity. Being a mystery is not necessarily about not being seen. So when you take this misunderstanding that people have for him and somebody like him who amplifies himself. He doesn't hide any of his contradictions. He speaks about them with as much conviction as, as possible. He'll, he'll talk about beating somebody up with as much confidence and, and bravado and energy in the same way he'll talk about I want to better the world and make people love each other and all that stuff. Again, to understand the power of that, you have to look at my unique pairing video. I'll link it up and then I'll also provide it in the description or something. But that level of polarization makes people really love you or really really hate you and that's something that the type of figure that he is plays off of he focuses obviously though on really cultivating that audience that really loves him and when you recognize that like he does he even breaks down that my fans are people who will do anything that I'll say my supporters are people that they wish the best for me and then obviously you have the haters but the, he makes it very clear that he knows who his, his fans are and he gives them all of his energy which goes into number two number two is connection he connects so deeply with his audience with his fans which is why they push for him they fight for him they go to bat for him right it's not about just being authentic yes he's completely transparent about all these things all these hardships he's had all how fragile he is how uh sad he's had just all these bad times and things that he's been through but he's taking it a level up by basically saying i'm a representative of that he knows and he's even said straight up that I'm a representative for those people who haven't expressed themselves, who haven't expressed their pain. Night, what you feel in the morning, what you feel midday, that you don't think other people have the same thoughts. You feel alone in this thought, but other people have the same thoughts. And it breeds, and when you when you display this thought, it breeds a certain amount of comfort mm -hmm. within people. Right. And people start to feel like, all right, this person understands me. This person is fucking cool. So when I when I say some shit like, oh, hey, I want to fucking gut myself right now. Hey, I want to jump off this fucking cliff. I saw you and it broke my heart. When I say different things like that, and these people, they want to say these things to that person, but they can't say it because it's been so like it's they gone through all these things. All right, it's un you feel me? You can't say certain things. Exactly. Right. I yeah. I am the ep epitome of the misunderstood. Right. I am literally the people that 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 aren't are un, aren't understood. Right. I just no other way to say that. He's a symbol for human suffering and how you can lash out and fighting back and pushing against the system and your own inner demons in a way that a lot of people don't do, uh, particularly openly. It takes a lot of courage. That's a huge, huge portion of why people support him and love him the way they do. People might hate these comparisons, but it's not that much different from when you think about a Tupac, what he stood for, right? Yes, he loved 
black people and wanted to better things for black people, but really his overall message was about humanity. And even X talks about more so humanity and representing those emotions for those type of people. And everybody has those emotions and not just a specific, hey, young people want to come up or I represent. No, he's talking about representing a feeling and a freedom from those feelings. And everybody can relate to feeling like suffering, feeling human suffering and wanting to be freed from that. And last but not least, number three, martyrdom. X became a martyr the day he went to jail and the day people start hearing his music and finding out that he was in jail. When you go through jail, it's just again and again in hip hop, we see that going to jail can really help people's careers. When I was in ninth grade, I was suspended for, I don't know, second, third time, whatever. But when I was suspended, I didn't have anything to do with this, but one of my friends created a free Sean page. And this <laughs> it was the early days of Facebook. And next thing you know, all these people are signing up, supporting, hey, free Sean, let him out, the school's tripping, yada, yada, yada. And it just happened, right? X didn't plan to make jail fuel his career, but him being in jail, unbeknownst to him, did because pe once people find their music and then they're like, man, what, I'm gonna get something else from this guy. And then they find out he's in jail and then people already have a thing against the system in hip hop. It helps, it turns you into a martyr of sorts and the best type of martyr to be is the martyr that's actually alive because most art martyrs have to die before they get that status. And I don't encourage anybody to go to jail on purpose just so they can try to use it as a marketing tactic, but it's worked, right? Lil Boosie just got out of jail, Gucci Mane. It's helped so many people's careers in a weird-ish way. But hey, go ahead and share this if you like X and you want to support X and think other people might agree and just be interested in seeing this video. And of course, if you want to see a video about somebody else or another topic, go ahead and ask me in the comments. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.